What is up guys, Torres7866 here with another video. <clears throat> In this video, I will be uh, talking about Infinity War. Um, so, let's start off with, dang, the ending was really surprising. Really surprising, and um, uh, in case I didn't make it clear, there will be spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this video. But, um, the ending is the most surprising part. But I really like the beginning of the movie. Everything, everything was great. And, you know, so, to let you guys off with a some good news. The good news is, Loki is not dead. Okay? 100% Loki is not dead. Because... Look, guys, if, if you guys think that I'm being dumb or anything, I mean, you guys think what you want to think. But Loki is the god of mischief. He is not that dumb. He won't, he won't, he's too smart to do something stupid like that, okay? So, someone like Loki won't just do something like that to Thanos. And to be honest, Loki knows Thanos. Loki knows how powerful he is. And also, if this doesn't make it clear, it actually, it actually, in that scene, it actually looks like Loki comes from a different place, okay? So, so when, when Thanos started fighting Hulk, when that happened, when Loki came back, it looked like he came from a different spot. So, 100% Loki should be alive. Now, Heimdall, I don't know about Heimdall, he, he's probably dead. Like, like, I mean, that guy is cool and all, but, uh, I don't know if I really, like, though, I, I wouldn't mind if he's dead. I mean, it sucks. I do like Heimdall a lot, but it's, it, I don't know if they're gonna bring him back. And so, also, also, who else died? I don't remember who else died. But the point is, Loki's not dead. But the ending, the ending, I believe that... I believe that I think he um, everybody got transported to a different place okay maybe not a place or a planet or anything but maybe some dimension like the quantum realm in Ant-Man I think they got transported to some place like that they're probably just floating floating somewhere they don't even know where they're at so that's what I believe I believe they're somewhere like that and eventually they're gonna be brought back don't know don't know but i mean i like i want to live with that theory because that that ending just leaves you confused but now let me tell you about thanos i love what they did with thanos okay yes he's a bad guy it sucks that <laughs> it sucks that he won the fight but that but that's also what i like about it okay thanos is super powerful i was expecting I wasn't even expecting any of this. I thought Thanos was going to lose the fight, honestly. And no, he won. He won the fight. He he did what he uh he did what he said he would do at the ending. Looked at the sunset, was happy. But but like they they let they let you rolling like like in the trailer, in the trailer they they let you thinking that that Hawkeye was going to be there, that Ant-Man was going to be there. But those two guys aren't there. And then, and then they leave you thinking as well that that Thanos is gonna lose. You know, in the trailer they only showed two stones, the the Tesseract Stone, and I think it was the Yellow Stone or the Power Stone. I can't remember which two, but they only showed two stones, and then he got all of them. He got all six. He he he's like wow like super powerful like he killed Gamora without even thinking and and that's another person I think is alive like honestly I don't care about Gamora I don't care if she's alive or dead but but like for those of you who do care I mean I do think she is pretty cool she's good at fighting I actually I actually wish that uh, she and all the Guardians of the Galaxy could meet all the Avengers I wanted them to all meet each other at one place but they didn't and um everything everything was good they let they let me they just when when i the very first time i watched it when i saw the ending the first thing i was doing was screaming what because i was so confused everyone just disappears and then they show thanos man 
like that left me off that left me off rolling like I was like whoa so when my brother started to make up when my brother started to make make up you know um stories on what probably happened uh it would have made sense and stuff but also Dr. Strange looked into the future so Dr. Strange has something to do with this 100% and I believe the next movie is going to be just as good, just as surprising and everything. I don't know exactly how they're going to bring him back or whatever. Oh, but also, also, everybody who disappears in the movie, everybody who disappears, they're going to show them again in other movies, in other movies. And everybody who stays a lot, who stayed alive, uh, those people might not, might not, um, might not um, continue doing movies eventually, so, so like, I mean, I mean, I don't know when they're gonna retire or something, but that's something um, I was told. But it actually kind of makes sense. But for one hundred percent, everybody who dies at the end will come back, including Nick Fury. Man, Nick Fury, that one was that one was funny the way he died. He he was about to say a cuss word. I wish he said the whole thing because then it'd be funny funnier but but that that movie it just left just left me in outer space i was i was confused super confused but but now i'm not because i understand it they are all going to come back for show for show but um thanos was really power really powerful he got all six stones at the end when he actually brought balance his his glove just got all messed up his infinity gauntlet uh, as you can see thor got a new hammer well it wasn't it wasn't this hammer obviously i wish they did give him the same hammer as always it would have made more sense but no he got better he built his hammer so i don't know honestly i don't know if they're even gonna show better bill anytime soon they show him. They show him in Thor Ragnarok. They show him like as a statue uh, face thing. I don't even know what you uh, would call it, but he was in. He was in one of the tall buildings in the place they were at. And um, I don't know if they're ever gonna show him as an actual character, just like flying through space somehow, or maybe like one of the. Well, maybe he'll have his own short scene, like like Stanley. But I doubt they're gonna bring him anytime soon. But um, Thor is super powerful now, really powerful. Um, and any, uh, I mean, everything, everything that gets you all surprised will come back, and they will not, they will, they, Marvel will not disappoint you. So uh, see you all next time. Thor seventy six out.